Hey guys, it's Lemon here and welcome back to another Wild Horse Islands video. So you guys, Trick recently released some news regarding the future of Wild Horse Islands. It is about to change big time. Um, now before we get into it, I just want to give a shout out to Rebecca Ravenbird here. These screenshots that you will see in the video are from her video that she made because I am not on the Wild Horse Islands Discord channel so I can't get the screenshots. So these screenshots are just um, from her video so credits to her. Go give her all the support. I will link it um, in the description. Um, so yeah, anyways, now that the credits are out of the way, let's go ahead and get into the news. And I also just want to note that the beginning of this video is going to be a ton of reading, me reading the update that Trick said. Um, so if you don't understand that, just stay tuned because at the end of me reading that, I'm basically just going to be explaining and showing you guys what exactly is happening. So, Trick said, some of you may have noticed that I've added a new Discord event named World Overhaul and Island Updates. I want to give everybody some info about it now, as this will be a major change to the game. What's going to change? So right now, when you travel between islands, you remain in the same server due to the fact that the entire game's world exists within one singular server file. This is what will be changing. Each island will exist in a different server file from each other. This means when you travel to a different island, you will be transported into a different server, which hosts that specific island and none of the others. Here's a simplified explanation of what you can expect as a result of this world overhaul. You can have improved game performance for every player, regardless of how good your device is. So, uh, less FPS drops slash freezing, lower latency slash server lag, lower memory usage resulting in less crashing uh, for lower end mobile devices, etc. Graphical updates and changes to all current islands, so more detail slash expansiveness. Massively increased island immersion, lots of other players on your island all the time, no matter what. So private servers will still function as expected. There will be room for an endless amount of new islands to be added in the future, as well as room for an immersive storyline to be added to the game, which will come in the near future. Currently, there's 12, even more when events are running, large-scale islands all within one server, regardless of whether or not they are currently being accessed by a player. This increases lag for both the game server and your device. By reducing this to one island per server, we will effectively improve specific performance metrics by potentially up to a thousand percent. This is massive and will result in an incredibly improved gameplay experience for everybody in the game, regardless of how good your device is. Islands are currently designed in a very simple way, so lack of details, low poly slash resolution meshes and textures, expansiveness, etc. Um, due to the negative performance implications of the current island implementation as mentioned above. With this world overhaul, we will, we will enable ourselves to design the islands in a much more visually exciting way as well as increase the expansiveness of each island at the same time. Additionally, when you join a public server right now, the majority of players are on mainland, training island, stable island, um, with a few others spread out across the rest of the islands. This means that most of the islands are basically empty all the time. I'm sure you've noticed when traveling to the higher levels islands such as volcano, lunar, jungle, or mountain that you see basically no other players while you're there. How boring. With this world overhaul, each island will feel much more alive as the players in your server will be on the same island as you. We've literally run out of physical space to put islands in the world, meaning we're very limited to what we can do in terms of adding new content and islands. Separating islands by servers will allow us to add an endless amount of them in the future. A few important notes slash disclaimers, we are aware of the various balancing and mechanical changes that will be required due to this major change such as horses and resource spawn rates, horse capturing mechanics, etc. Don't worry. Some servers will have a couple different islands on them, for example, Tutorial Island will exist in the same server as Mainland. Stable Island is a special case and may exist in all servers for ease of access, however, we have not yet finalized this. The Trading slash Breeding Hub update will be the first official implementation of this new server system and will help us figure out some more specifics for the World Overhaul update in March. So, I just rambled a lot. If you didn't understand any of that, that's okay because I'm going to be explaining it to you guys in my own words so that you guys can understand exactly what is going on. So, in Wild Horse Islands currently, 
if we go over to this lovely map over here, you can see that you can go to all the islands in the same server. So you can just easily, you know, teleport to Mountain. Uh, when you're in a server, all the same people are there, no matter what island you go to and stuff. But what is going to be happening is each island is going to become its own server. Its own server. So you're going to teleport to an island and it'll take you to like a new game with a new set of people. So if you go to like Mountain Island, it will be filled with only people on Mountain Island and nobody else on other islands. Let me give you a visual of, the, of how this works because this um, system is actually in another game that I play uh, called Royal High. And I'm just going to show you guys how all the teleports work and stuff um, and servers so that you guys can get an understanding of how this is going to work. Okay, you guys, so I'm in Royal High, as you can see here. Um, now, this is one of the servers of the game. It's one of the locations on the map. However, instead of everything being on one map, like Wild Horse Island, um, if you want to go to another location, they're labeled at the top over here. So there's student dormitories, there's bathing quarters, as well as a lot of other areas um, on the map. So instead of just being able to walk, you know, it straight into it it teleports me to another server so if we go ahead and go to the bathing quarters here it teleports me to another server um which is almost like another game except you know it's it's the same game uh so i'm in a server now with different people but it's the same game and i can basically teleport anywhere i want so if i want to go to the dormitories i can click um this teleport button and it takes me to another server another game um, just like this and then I go ahead and load back into the new area the new space and then, then I can teleport on back and Because Royal High is so detailed They did this to reduce lag so that players can actually play it because Royal High is a very detailed game There's a lot of things and there's no way that they could fit everything onto one map um, Just because of how vast the detail in this game is and all of the things like there are a lot of places You can go to in Royal High and it just would not make sense for them to put it all on one map okay we're back in wild horse islands now so this is what wild horse island seems to be doing so if you want to go to a specific location it's going to teleport you to a whole different server so that means that all the islands are going to be pretty packed if you're on one this has a, some benefits as well as some disadvantages to this um the benefits being one you will be less laggy in the game and they can add a ton more stuff because, you know, as the game grows, um, you know, they can't add any more islands because it's just going to make the game so laggy and there's just going to be a lot and half the islands are going to be empty. So it's just going to cause um, problems in that way. Obviously, it's fine for now since there's not so many, but for the future of the game, if they want to expand it, if they want to add more islands, more features, more detail to everything, they're not going to be able to do that if they keep it all in one server. So you may be upset, but that is how the game is going to grow. So unless you want to keep all the features like this, if you don't want them to expand the game, if you don't want them to grow the game, if you don't want them to add any more detail or features, then that's what it's going to be. So they're doing this so that they can expand the game. It will also reduce lag. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me about how laggy you've been in Wild Horse Islands and how you get kicked out of the game often. I know a lot of you guys have been getting kicked out um, or like that low memory warning and stuff. And this is going to help you stay in the game um, longer since there's going to be less all on one thing. They're going to be in servers, so this is going to be a benefit in the long run. I know a lot of you guys might be upset because it is good for horse hunting and stuff if you're by yourself. But that's the purpose of the private servers. So let me just use Royal High as an example again. If you were to get a private server in Royal High, you have a private server for all of the servers. So you can go to any... You can teleport to any spot if you have a private server and you'll be by yourself. Like, you can go to any world um, in Royal High and if you have a private server, it'll stick you by yourself. Basically, that's, that's the purpose of private servers. Like, currently in Wild Horse Islands, you can almost have a private server without having a private server considering some of the islands are so empty. But this is just reinstating the purpose of a private server is so you can be by yourself. So if that's what you want, then you get a private server. I know a lot of you guys like don't want to do that, but that is how private servers are meant to work. Um, it's kind of been like a treat 
almost in Wild Horse Island is being to be on an island by yourself. Um, but I'm just explaining this to you guys. And also, you, for those of you that seem to be troubled by, you know, the horse spawn rate and everyone catching everything with more people being on the islands, um, Trick said that they are aware of the various balancing and mechanical changes that will be required. So they're going to figure this out. He even said, don't worry, right there. They are aware of this and they're going to figure something out. Okay, you guys? Okay, calm down. And I personally, I don't see this as a bad thing considering I've already been adjusted to this by playing Royal High. Like, I've been playing Royal High for years, way longer than Wild Horse Islands. So I've already been accustomed to this, which is why I'm not that upset about it because I understand. Like, you cannot have too much in a game without lag, so you have to put it in separate servers. Now, they're introducing this with the Foaling and Breeding Hubs update, which is uh, the next update coming to Wild Horse Islands. So there's going to be a separate server for the Foaling place the breeding center as well as a trading hub so that's that's going to be how it's going to work in wild horse islands now there's going to be separate places um and it's gonna be, it's gonna be okay in the long run like as of right now it's gonna seem a like annoying basically like i can see why a lot of you guys would be upset with this but understand that in the long run that's how this game is going to expand that is how this game is going to grow so just calm down and we also have a while to wait. Well, not a while, but a solid amount. This is coming in March. Um, I don't have the exact date, but it's coming sometime in March. And then we're also going to get a more immersive storyline. And if you haven't already seen my video of Ruby, that's her storyline in the game. So we're going to be getting more storyline, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be fun. I hope that you guys are able to understand this. Okay. Did you understand? D do you understand? Okay. Don't freak out. I know it's going to be inconvenient, but that is how this is going to work. Um, so yeah, anyways, I hope that this video helped you guys in explaining and understanding what this is going to be for the game. So Wild Horse Islands is changing, and y'all better get ready for it. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe for more Wild Horse Islands content, and I hope that you all have a wonderful day. Goodbye, everybody.